Hey guys, it's Will here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Xbox 360 in 2024. So this is going to be kind of like a is it worth it and a buying guide in the same video. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So basically, um, do I think the 360 is worth it in 2024? Um, I would say if you're just looking to play 360 games, um, it is worth it because they aren't too expensive. They're pretty inexpensive and they're um, and you can find them relatively easy. Um, I would recommend the models that I would recommend for the 360 are either a um, Fat 360 from 2009, 2010, 2011. Any of those manufacturing dates are better than the original 360 as far as rivering and death and reliability. Um, but if you want the best reliability, definitely I would recommend a 360 Slim. Um, I would recommend also getting a 250 gig hard drive or a 320 gig hard drive or maybe even a 500 if they came in that. I don't even remember. But... Um, yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend getting one of the older, like almost launch 360s because they're very unreliable. Um, shout out to the loud dirt bike outside. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, and now my dog is barking because of it. Anyways, um, before I was interrupted, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, hard, hard drive. So yeah, definitely I'd recommend getting a um bigger hard drive so you can like store save files and stuff you probably aren't going to be downloading a ton of games to the console but just in case you want to like have a lot of save files and stuff you can do that um if you have a little bit more storage because some of the 360 consoles um the slims don't come with any storage and then some have like four gigs built in but four gigs is like nothing um so yeah um also um i'll do my five my top five games so I would say for number five, um, probably Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, just because it's an inexpensive first-person shooter. It's a great game, um, and it runs pretty good on the 360. Um, fourth, probably um, GTA 4, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm kind of co coming up with these as we go. Um, number three... Um, probably like Halo Reach or something, even though I'm pretty sure Halos are like not usable on the 360 anymore. Um, number two, probably Fallout New Vegas. And then number one, I got to recommend number one, Red Dead Redemption. Um, best 360 game, in my opinion. Um, I love Red Dead Redemption. Um, I know Red Dead Redemption 2 is out, but I still prefer Red Dead Redemption, the original one. It's just better. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, the controllers, there's nothing really special. There was a different type of controller where the, um, thumbsticks were like more, more like the Xbox One style thumbsticks. And then the D-pad, you could rotate it to where it could be either like a cross or like the standard 360 D-pad. But overall, there's not really any difference. Um, I would recommend if you're going to get a 360, definitely get some cheap replacement, um, thumbsticks. Um, I got some off of AliExpress for like 99 cents and it came, came with six of them. So definitely recommend getting those because even though if, the, if they aren't like worn out a ton, um, in my experience, they can get dry rotted and, and stuff kind of where they're, they'll like crumble if you use them a lot. So definitely recommend getting some new thumbsticks just to not have to experience that basically. Um, and then just clean up the controllers, make sure they're not nice and clean and, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.